what advice do you have for them? Um, you're going to and use the podcast, use your resources, but don't get caught in gaining all the information and lacking the action. Dive into it, you know, and take, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, because I don't want you to dive into something and then losing your shorts in the process. But choose, you know, take your time. Don't rush, but definitely dive in. Even say you want to learn how to fix your machines or, or you, you're hiring a mechanic to fix your machines. Pay them once pay them twice, learn while they're working on your machines so that you don't have to pay them again and you'll enjoy doing it yourself. You'll do a better job than they will. And definitely just uh, learn from doing. If you want to get into the deliveries aspect, learn from doing. Try whatever works for you. It's, you know, there's not one shoe that fits everyone. So you can hear and you can read and you can do all these things, but you got to bite the bullet, buddy. I agree. I mean, I pretty much end every single one of these podcasts with, hey, pick something and put it into action. Like you've got to do that every single time. And I couldn't agree more. And maybe I'd say, I mean, you were saying, hey, I don't want you to get into like trouble or anything like that. So here's what I would say to that is, learn by doing and bring a guide, right? Whether that's, you know, having a buddy like your friend who you're going with or yep. uh, whether that's joining a mastermind group or that's paying for consulting or whether that's joining a Facebook group or whatever it is, learn by doing and bring a guide. And I think there's no better way to learn. Yep. Than Travel, that. but you got a map with you now. So uh, it can yeah. only help, you know. I love that. Yeah. Um, Awesome. Well, we have another segment and this probably ties into uh, what we we're just talking about, but recommended resources. What resources do you have rec to recommend to help us grow ourselves or our businesses? What do you got there for us? The laundromat resource. <laughs> Is there it's, any other resource you need? <laughs> this <laughs> podcast, uh, you know, learning from other going to Going to the clean show, glow, going to the wash, drive, fold, going to the CLA events has will put you ahead of the competition that's not going there because most people are not going there and, and you'll learn a lot. So those resources you should definitely go to. Don't think about, oh, it's cost this much money and yeah, it's a little this is annoying how much it costs. Everything is so expensive now. I know. But it's worth it. You're paying for your education and you're investing in your business by doing so. Put it on your business credit card. Go to the, you know, get a hotel and uh, you're going to have fun while doing it. You're going to meet great people. You're going to have uh, conversations about your business uh, and learning through conversation, like we said in the beginning, has elevated this industry and you will put yourself in a place to have those conversations with people that know what they're talking about. And, 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 and you'd be surprised how many good people we have in this industry that are open to these conversations and enjoy them. Not just open. They enjoy. It. I love talking laundry. I love it. Call my friend. We talk about laundry. <laughs> You're going to regret saying that in a second when I ask how people can get in touch with you. But before I do, I mean, you mentioned, hey, read. Uh, can you give us like a, a good business, personal development or something like that book that you you, you got a bunch behind you? So, yeah, the, the, classic, kind of curious. the classic is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Yeah, yeah. The classic is I'm sure it's been referred to. Classic is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, you know, I'm going to give one that I don't know if it's been referred to. Ooh, I like it. The Bible. Hey, all right. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure anybody has said the Bible. But all gonna, right. Uh, there's one quote in the Bible that I think relates to laundry, and it is this. Okay, let's hear it. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> but it, and there's it, so it, much anticipation and buildup. It's basically there. you brought in the classic, <laughs> and you're like, "There's one quote the ball. that re relates," and then you can't. Are you ready? Just, Hold on, let me uh, get my. <laughs> But right. it's a